okay hello student good afternoon so basically i am starting with today's the exam number 3 of my lecture so basically as i am starting with the exam number 3 of my lecture in this lecture you can see it is able to find out the young motors of the given material by a young non bending pin pin okay and a microscopic method so it is basically using the pin and a microscopic method okay so basically uh, now we have to for a given material and we should material uh, um, a steel so we have prefer to be use a steel in this material and the apparatus we required is the few apparatus we are required which we will discuss when we will do our experiment so basically what happened in this experiment that there is a one load there is a two um, knife edge is given and on the two side of the steel bar and now in this steel bar we have to measure out the distance and basically in the middle of the bar in the middle of the bar we have to place a uh, load actually uh, in the middle of the sorry in the middle of bar ni in the middle of the scale we have to place a bar and we have to load it a uh, load uh, on that and due to that weight the deformation will go down and we have to adjust the pin through the telescope okay so there is a main scale reading there is a bar scale reading so we have to measure that one hmm? and after measuring that one we have to find out the yong modulus okay and by plotting this value onto a graph and i will show you the graph stuff and all things so basically go on to the procedure this is a procedure that you have to choose a mass length thickness as referred to as in the simulator so basically one thing to say about this that see this is can that value of 1 mm is t is a 120 value of the division is 50 while the least count of 1 mm is equal to 1 by 1000 this is the written so we have to uh, don't need to find find out huh? so you already written now see let's come back to the this table don't copy this table i will give the table in a youtube link or in a comment box please follow that and please subscribe okay so that you can get my more and more video lectures okay and tell what to be change now see i am going on to the simulator part to do the experiment basically see this simulator part first uh, see what uh, what uh, i am trying to do sorry mm, it just okay now it is okay so if you can see that what is happening so firstly there is a art uh, art moon you get a set room so we are taking the art uh, as you all know so in this what uh, i prefer to choose steel because uh wood uh, uh, steel bend better than a wood you know so uh, and we are taking the mass of a weight hanger so these are the mass uh, of the weight hanger this is for zero weight when i apply no weight on here and the break uh, is suppose and the break of the bar uh, be mm, mentioned it to be a weight 2 cm okay so basically so i have given here 2 cm now can you see the the thickness of a okay wait one minute i have given here the steel and i have given here one of the two okay so basically the thickness of the bar will be because mm, we have applied no weight here so basically if i apply no weight so basically uh, if the thickness is very very small uh, it would be best because then the bar of the uh, then the weight of the bar will be not coming or it will be negligible okay and the knife edge we want the knife edge not like to this distance we want the knife edge to be fixed as a top most position they have that is 
जो सो वी आर पुलिंग द नाइव एज डिस्टेंस टू अदर एक्सट्रीम लास्ट सो बेसिकली दिस इज ट्वेंटी एंड दिस इज द एट्टी सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी एंड इफ दिस इज एट्टी सो डिस्टेंस बिटवीन देम इज सिक्सटी एंड वाट इज द मिडिल पॉइंट इफ समन टेल वाट इज वाई आर इज दिस सिचुएटेड इफ समन टेल यू कैन टेल दैट दिस मिडिल पॉइंट इज नथिंग बट इफ दिस ट्वेंटी इफ दिस इज एट्टी सो द मिडिल पॉइंट इज हियर इज is what is the middle point middle point is that the difference between the two is 60 60 so 60 divided by 2 means 60 okay so if we know the distance between this two uh, what is the distance between the two so yeah and if we divide it by 2 and then if i this plus the difference so we can get the distance so what will be the distance let us say so it is uh, 20 and it is 80 so it is 60 it is 60 and uh, 50 divided by 2 is 30 uh, so 20 plus 30 is 50 so it is at 50 mark okay so you can see that it is at 50 cm so basically uh, if i see the tip of the ring it is uh, exactly uh, quite suitable okay so it is at the center basically okay uh, and uh, and if i want to measure the vernier reading uh, so what is a vernier reading let us see so if i tap onto this one see if i tap on this one this will increase okay it is going to increase so if i see uh, it is very carefully this is 5 mm wait yeah this is 5 so if this is 5 this will be uh, 5.5 so the reading is 5.5 and basically uh, which are the reading that is perfectly coinciding what is the reading that is perfectly coinciding is nothing but so basically if i look at the vernier scale division it is coming as 0.3 so mm, the it is the 0.3 into the vernier count so what is the vernier count basically vernier count is basically nothing but 0.001 you can say you can see the vernier least count it is given like this so basically what to do next you get out from here now increase the weight hanger from 0 to 50 and see the 50 reading so it has will be shifted how to adjust it by this okay so if you adjust it see that the it is again coming at the point so again i will zoom it and now see that the reading it is coming see zero point coincide with none other less than uh, this is one see this first this is one and this is two this is three this is four five and the 5.6 okay so it is basically uh, coinciding with 5.6 so whether uh, it will be uh, not 5.6 sorry uh, i am this is wrong sorry uh, it is coinciding with uh, the zero point is coinciding with 5 5.56 and i am right now 5.56 and basically so uh, we can write this as 5.56 okay so basically see that see this this is the middle of the line and uh, this is the 5.55 and if this is the 5.55 it is the slightly up so we can write it as 5.56 so basically see this now if i place the vernier reading hmm, then it will be coming as it is coinciding at 0.7 see that two point are at are looking like a same line at 0.7 so so it is 0.7 into this okay now see one thing whether it is 0.7 or clearly see or not yes it is 0.7 next moving on to the 5200 so now we have to again adjust it See, we have adjusted basically. Yeah, we have adjusted. 
now we are checking again the microscope to see why the geo is lying because it is lying as possible as immediately at uh, you can see this as um, as it is a one two three four okay five uh, five and this six and six and uh, six point so five point six five basically so basically it is uh, denoted by five point five six six I denoted five point five six six okay as I am denoting five point five six six basically if I see this it is at the top so basically it is five point uh, sorry wait a minute uh, it is denoting at the top so it can be written as five point six six okay and what is the Vanner scale that is uh, coinciding uh, is none other than mm, this point is nothing but 0 0.6 uh, it is coinciding with 0 0.6 if I look at the naked eye it is coinciding obviously with 0 0.6 but any other no so 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 into 0 0.001 so this is the value that is coming so now if I put sorry it is 100 gram mm, and uh, I have sell that uh, 150 okay now say it is 150 okay now say it is 150 as it is 150 then adjust the scale again and look at the reading the the zero point coincides with at 150 the zero point coincides with um, see this is my last reading look at, look at carefully so the zero point coincides with see the uh, zero scale reading this is at the five so five six seven and this seven point five so it is going to be five point seven five and what is the and uh, what is basically a vanya scale reading the vanya scale reading goes like see the vanya scale reading uh, it will be at 0 0.9 it will be at 0 0.9 so basically it is at 0 0.9 so 0 0.9 into 0 point let's use the calculator and uh, the 0 0.9 okay I into 0 0.001 okay it will be coming as 9 to 10 to the power of 4 so as the 9 is coming 10 to the power 4 so basically we can write as um, see we can write this as 0 0.9 10 to the power 4 so um, we can proceed and there is no other line coinciding so it is 0 0.9 basically uh, by this way we have to increase the 50 50 50 and uh, and it will give us the 10 such points where we have to set and place the weight and see that how much it is bending then we have to adjust the microscope and we'll have to take the reading so basically the what is the main thing main thing is basically the about the graph so uh, many of you can can be said that what which and which graph can be placed the graph can be placed between the load and a depression how much is the depression so the load is on the x-axis and depression is on the y-axis basically and after the depression you can please note my talk that after the depression the young modulus y equals to gl cube by 4b gl cube by 4b d cube into m by l okay so you have to find out the graph you find out the slope after the slope you the, what is the slope the slope is nothing but l by m the slope is to be find l by m is the slope okay now find out the young modulus the g all of you know okay so and then the l l cube divided by 4 into 1 
b okay 4 into b into d cube into m by l so m by l you know the g value you know d value you know d value also you know and l value also you know from the table you are getting all the values and from that value plot that graph and find out the result and my i am ending my this session and thank you and please subscribe and this is my third lecture and if i if i motivated by you so i am eager to get more lectures i am eager to make more lectures so please please subscribe thank you